Welcome back to some more Timberborn. Uh, last time we started working on getting the power connected. Uh, we This is all connected. So uh, even though these are the only two spinning, this is still getting the power from it. Um, but there's no power going through here and eventually it will be nice to have all of it connected up. So we were going to put things down here to connect it to this side and have like a nice line of buildings that need to use the power. Um, but before we do that, I was thinking, you know, it'd be nice to use the space wisely. And so I think I'm actually going to build on top of, or I'm going to detonate some of this, dynamite this out, put down some storage, and then put the stuff on top of the storage so we don't have to um, waste any space. So my thought is to put maybe some large warehouses like this. And I think maybe I'll leave a gap here. Um, oh, I don't want it playing because I don't want them to actually build it yet. Um, and then to get down, so I'm gonna detonate this. I'm just showing you kind of before I actually do it so I can plan ahead. Um, and then my thought is to put large industrial piles on top for them to be able to get to. Now, I know I can only go down two levels because that's what this is. So, and you can't, um, we can't detonate this anymore. This is like the bottom of the map. So we can only go down two. So if we do put the large piles on here, it's going to go up a step from this level. But I think I still want to do that so we can use it as best as possible. Uh, but then I think, so this will be the same height. Um, but then we can go down, actually. If I... Okay, if I delete this. So I am going to detonate this and let them walk along here. If, oh wait, but this needs to be, yeah, okay, never mind. Ignore me. Because I was thinking, you know, first before we do this, let's go ahead and get rid of this stuff. Because I think it's going to confuse me less if I don't have this here. Delete this. Then we can figure out... Um, we're going to along here. Then we're going to have to put the water wheel stuff. That's in power, isn't it? Um, so this is going to need to go like here, I think. right here where this is at. So yeah, I am gonna need to do it out like that. Okay, anyway, so let's go ahead and detonate this. And I'm gonna delete this path. We're going to put some more large water wheels in here. I think this is, yeah, so like that. And then we're gonna do like this. I just gotta get rid of this path. Um. Now the goal with this is to be able to just have the buildings across here once we get this done so that it connects right into it. I guess we'll have to see if, okay, so if I do this, then my thought was to have this here put, so I would leave this, because this is all gonna be down two levels. So this is gonna be at the same level as this. So I was gonna leave that there and then detonate this down and put stairs, but I can't really do that. Maybe this one will go the other direction. So I can do this one facing here. Because it'll connect to that path, right? Then we'll 
detonate. So this is going to go down to, well, I mean, at that point, what is the point? Oh, wait, no. Okay, wait. So then, yes, I will go down. Detonate this. This actually... If you're not following me, I do apologize. Okay, so I'm going to go down one here. I'm going to put a set of stairs here. Then... A set of stairs here. And then it'll be down at the right level. And then I can put a platform here if I need to for them to be able to cross. Oh... It's going to have to go up because I've got, I'm going to have the, this on top, right? So it's going to have to go up, which is fine. Not the end of the world. Going to have to get it to connect somehow though. But, so then this is all going to have to be double dynamite around here. So this is going to be like where the path goes. So there's going to be stairs going down. They're going to be able to go around here and get into this bottom layer here. Okay. And then there's, I'm going to have to dynamite this. Then I'm going to have this. So that's one, two, like so. And then one, two, three. And then that for the path. So then one, two, one, two. Okay. So then I can put the large things like along here. The path will be under here connecting to this. And maybe I'll put another upward thing here to get up on this side. So they have two entrances to get down into that part. The stacking of these on top is going to be a little bit more confusing. We'll have to figure out how we're going to make that work in a little bit. I may just put platforms on top and then put a path on top like that and have it go around. Then we can put stuff on top of this. Actually, I'm just going to go ahead and delete these. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and do this. I'm going to get this to work. For I'm going to get all this done, get down there, put the stuff in, and we'll see what it looks like. But my thought is that these, I can connect them all via the power on top still. But then, and I guess I could, didn't need to delete all this, but, um, but then this is going to be, well, there is a way to get in there. Oh, this is up a level anyway, so that's perfect. Okay, so we're going to make this work. We're going to see how this goes. <laughs> and I'm going to go ahead and play and let them put the dynamite and stuff in here. These are going to be a little bit fun. And then we are going to want some more water wheels, but I think that these are going to... Yeah, I need to take out... For sure these two... And I might just do two more and then this. So it'll kind of go th around there. Um, and then I can put two more water wheels here. I'm probably going to have to do a platform here to get to the other side. But then these, all these will be going at the same time. I also think that I want to put a flood, one single floodgate here. I want more water coming out of here when it's going but it would be nice to have this set to the same height as this so that th at least a little bit of it is flowing out here. And right now it's just when this gets a little too full because this is at 0.65 um, and this is at 0.5. Well, 1.5 technically, but they're the same like height. So um, so this only goes if, the, uh, if it's too full for some reason. I don't really know how it's getting too full. Maybe because it's coming this way first. So it like hits the wall before it goes back out this way. I'm not really sure. Because this is kind of sideways. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and delete this. And we're going to put in a floodgate right there. 
a single high floodgate that I can set to half. And then a little bit of the water will come out this way, hopefully at all times. And then the rest of it will come out this way. We'll see how it works. If I have to pull it up, I can pull it up. But at least then we have a little bit more control over it. I did forget to do this before the bad tide started. So that's not great. But um, we do still have some water in here, just not as much as we would like. And the other thing is that once we get more water um, stored and we have this going, we can actually start doing the mushroom, the hydroponic gardens for the mushrooms and the algae so that we can do more of that good food. Oh, and we've got a coffee brewery that we could do too. Anyway, so we could build these like on top of here or something, or I guess somewhere over here if we want. I'm not exactly sure how we want to do that, but... Um, once we have more water, we don't have to worry about it as much. And part of getting this set up is going to be having huge water tanks like on top of it so the beavers don't have to go very far and we have a lot stored. Uh, it is the good tide. I'm gonna pause it really quick so I don't lose any good water. We're gonna let this down. And then I'm gonna let this up. So we can get this done. I'm also gonna let this flush out. And once we get some of this power stuff going, I do want to start getting prepared for another district. We still have time before we actually have to get over there because we still have quite a bit of scrap metal in these things. But the sooner we can get food over into this area and stuff like that, the easier it'll be later to switch over and have another district because all the food are, will already be there. Uh, but there's more important things to get going first. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and detonate some of this stuff. Um, I'm going to put these power wheels down. Or water wheels, I guess. Um, and I do... So that's just here. We're gonna put a stubble platform in and then put one more water wheel. Oh, that's not the right spot. Okay, now it should be the right spot. Okay, so they should be able to get that. And then once we actually have buildings here, these are will all be connected as well. Right now it's not quite as much of a thing. Okay, that's at half, but it's still coming out of here. So I don't know, is it coming out of here? A little bit? This is up, right? Okay. So it's going through both. It is coming out here, slowly. Okay, this is starting to move a little bit. And I guess once we um, connect the power, it doesn't really matter. These make a lot more power than the little ones do. So if this isn't spinning a whole lot, it's not the end of the world. But, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and detonate all of this and hope that I did it right and it, I didn't just screw everything up. Okay, let's go ahead and put in the storages. So we're gonna go like this. We're gonna leave a space, get these in, and go all the way around here like so. Okay, we're gonna put paths in along this whole thing. I guess I didn't need to do this square, but that's fine. Um, All the way along here. Uh, we're gonna put stairs in here. And then a path in here. Is this all connected, almost. Do not want this path on top. Okay, so they'll be able to get down here and into this. I do want to set up a um, thing here. I'm gonna go ahead and put uh, no, what I want is 
this. That way I can blow this up. We're going to put stairs here. And then on this side so they can get in from either end. And then we're going to put double platforms along here. Like so. And we'll be able to connect everything. Then I can do, so my thought is to do the large industrial piles here, which I know is going to be a step up um, for this. Oh, I don't know what I was thinking I was grabbing here. So I am going to go ahead and do this just to get all this filled in. Um, but I can put like the power, this thing, high power shaft here and still have stuff on top of this. It's just going to be a matter of getting up to it to do stuff. Um, but these are flowing pretty darn quickly. Um, and then I can move some of this over here, I think. I th my thought is we're going to move all of this around. I may have some housing over here and stuff like that. Um, but I think the hauling posts and the builder's huts are going to end up getting moved somewhere else. This can get filled with water, so all of this will be green ground. And I can actually have more of the food processing over here instead. I can move like a lot of this food stuff over here and hopefully use the space a little bit better than I currently am. But right now, I'm wondering if I should put the wood workshops farther this way and move these over here. I'm not exactly sure. Um, and then the other thing I was thinking was, oh, I didn't think that part through. Oh, wait, okay. So we use this here. We put this here. Do a high power shaft in here, connecting this. Once that other one's done, I'm going to pause this really quick. So once this is done, okay, so then they can do this. Then it can go over and like connect to the other stuff via this side. Can I put another double platform on here? Yes. Oh, is that not the right? Okay, wait. Uh, delete this. Do I, want, I want triple platform, I think. Right? Ugh. Why? I want it down right in here. Is that the right spot? I can't tell. That's where I want it, I think, right? So that's going to be like lined up here. So then I can do... Wow, that noise is really loud now that that's happening. So then I can line this up and put the power shaft into whatever I have up here too. So it'll all be connected. Yeah, that's the, that's the goal there. Um, okay. And I might actually do a four way here just in case I want to go one way or the other with that. And then we'll just do one of those. We've got to do with the corner, another straight, and then it'll be in the back of whatever we've got here. Um, Oh man. So then the decision is, so I've got it connected at the bottom so they can get down there. I'm going to detonate this really quick. Um, so that's not an issue. Like they can get down there, get everything set up. Perfect. Up here, I don't necessarily need it to be laid out exactly the same. 
I just needed to make sure the water wasn't going to get into there to like stop them because if it gets wet, they can't use it. So I, um, if I do a bunch of large storages like here, I'm going to pause it. So if I, so they don't start building it and like mess something up. I mean, I could do that and then just leave a gap there for them to get to. Or I could even, because this thing is up higher, I could put, um, I could put a back one, I think, right? And then they could walk up on top of this. Potentially. So if I do that, connect all of this, like so. I'm going to delete this path because it's going to bug me if I don't. Um, I'm going to need a way to get up here. Um... So I need I mean I could actually let me what if I put stairs here and then just continue the path like that and then I do more of the things here like so that would fit I don't know what I'm going to put in all this but making use of the space um, and then I think I can just do like a power shaft and do it on the side or something um, something like that because this isn't going to conduct power it has to be on the side here it's not going to do it through the door area I don't think um, okay. So if we do that, let me get this put up actually first. This is going to be like super high priority because, and this. Oh, I can't get to it because of stuff. Um, I'm going to pause this. Uh, I prioritize this actually. And then, um, which one am I doing? This one. So, uh, I prioritize this as well, if possible. And then we can just walk back there really quick and get it done. Okay. So let's go ahead and undo that. Let's see if we can get some of this done. Um, so then I just have to figure out kind of where I want to put stuff. But I can move all of this around. Like the um, pine resin and the explosives can go down here. I do want some of this to be for food. But it also doesn't make sense for them to like cart it around. So to, I will have to figure out what food I want here depending on what I'm growing. Um, and then because we need the extract for like the dirt excavator and stuff, we might want to have another one of these two. We'll have to see. Um, another thing that I want to do while we're getting all that done is get um, another swimming pool here, I think. I'm going to go ahead and get this done. Man, they're quick. Um, I'm thinking about just putting another one here and then they can get to it from this side because I feel like this is getting used more than some of the other ones, I guess. Yeah. Um, so this will be another kind of center one. But I do need... 
Uh, this, I think. Oh, you know what? I think I'm gonna need that to do... Right? Okay, yeah, that's what I was thinking. So then we can just go like that, connect it up, and then they'll have another spot that they can go if this is full. Which I don't know how many can go in there at a time, but um, we still have water coming out here a little bit. Yep. Is it coming through here? A little bit. So it's going to be a little while before this is all together, but hopefully we, we need more planks. Do I have the plank things turned off? Yes, I do. <laughs> oh. Um. I might want to turn off the gear thing for a bit because the... I don't think we need gears for any of this, but we need a lot of planks. So we'll pause the gears for a little while and focus on the plank issue. Um, another thing that, so when we have the next row, I want to come out here and get rid of this, but I was thinking about it and this is like overflowing and I don't think it's going to empty out quickly enough. I feel like the drought's not going to be long enough to do it. I almost want to see if we can do this from up here because if we can demolish this without having to get down there, hopefully this will drain faster if we end up getting a drought. If it doesn't work, I don't know what we're going to do because it's going to be a pain. But, I mean, I guess we could go over here and, like, detonate some stuff or something. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of a way to get this done. Oh, it's too far from a district. Can I have this all connected? Um, oh, yeah, I guess that'll tell me if it'll work. Is this too far still? Yeah. Okay. So what do we need to do here? Let's put down. I'm going to do that. I'm going to actually go an extra spot. You know what? No, that's not going to work because um, I want to detonate this area. So we need to do somewhere like over here, which is fine because actually it'll use less resources. And then we can get over here and then maybe we can detonate this stuff. And then it'll clear out faster when the um, drought happens. And then we can come in here and get rid of all this. But I'm just trying to think of how to fix this. Uh, can they get to this now? They can get to it, but they don't have the, all the re required materials. So it's going to be a little bit before that's finished. Um, no good selected. Yeah, I'm not sure what I want to put there yet. So I'm going to leave it. We are still doing good on food. Um, everything except for the berries is above a thousand. And we still have a decent amount of resources kind of sitting there. Um, so I do also want to get more of this going. Um, So, how do I want to do this? It's the other thing that I was trying to figure out is like, I probably want to have like a circular um, path in between and have like pumps in, in there and stuff and then a whole bunch of storage. Um, This is definitely not worth the, uh, like, if I put a pump here, this is going to block it from 
Well, and I can't put a path there anyway. Um, I guess I could just put some storage there. Let's go ahead and put down... I'm just going to go ahead and start working on this. We can put a couple of these. Some more of these. Put another medium tank here. I can put a pump here. Well, no, I can't. Unless I detonate this. I guess I could, though. Uh, you know what? I don't have enough resources to do a whole lot of this since I'm trying to build all this right now. So I'll have to wait. Uh, I don't want to use all the resources for it. Okay, this is going to... The other thing I could potentially do is put a dam here. I think if it's deeper, it might move it a little faster. Well, maybe not. this down again if it will force more water in or if it's going to go out my goal was to get it going this way but it looks like it's actually going backwards so never mind okay there we go it's coming back through here this is also going okay uh, the swimming pool's still not built yet, but that's okay. Wait, why is this happening? Is this up? No. Um, why is this flooding? It shouldn't be flooding. Super weird. I wish we could get this to consistently flow. I guess maybe... Maybe once we have all the power connected, we need to raise this and have this just going out this way because these make a lot more power than the little ones do, right? Um, yeah, so we have a whole lot of these and we're getting almost a thousand. One of these is getting, well, when it's going fast enough, 200. Um, so if all of the water is coming through here, it should be getting a lot more, which will be helpful, I think. And then, um, oh, like right now, 250 a piece. So if they're all connected and they're all doing it, um, we don't necessarily need these to be spinning to get a bunch of power. We can just have it mostly coming out of here. Although I guess then it wouldn't be filling this up. So then the next step is to build a dam here and fill this up. <laughs> uh, maybe. I mean, then if it, you know, it could keep some water here. I don't really know. We'll see. Oh, so much to do. So little time. I hope this works. I feel like it's taking way too long for them to build. But we do have... Oh. You know, we have a decent amount of builders. Why? Okay, so this... We have an unemployed one. But no one is here. Or we did have an unemployed beaver. Yeah, we have... Weird. Anyway. Um, yeah, this is going to take a little bit more time to get done. But hopefully if we can get more of this done, we can... I wonder... Maybe I should... Um, Okay, so a drought is coming next. So, 
I need to high prioritize this area. And then I need to remember to actually do it next time. Because if I can get this done, get over here and put the dynamite down, then we can get down here and get rid of this before the end of the drought, hopefully. Um, man, this is filling up so much. We have way too much bad water coming out of here. Um... And this is going to take a while. So I think we're going to finish this up next time. And we'll have to deal with this next time too. They are starting to get this done though. So it should be hopefully coming along pretty soon here. And then we just have to remember to go over here and uh, fix it. Um, but that's going to be it for today. Thank you so much for joining me. If you liked this video, I'm going to pop a couple more episodes up here that you might also enjoy. Please leave me a comment below. I love hearing from all of you and your help. Your tips are so helpful, so I appreciate them all. That's going to be it for today. I'll see you next time.